Hi y'all, it's May 21st, 2022, and today we are at the Custer State Park Bison Center. It just opened yesterday, Friday the 20th. The Bison Center uh, will tell the story of Custer State Park's bison herd and educate future generations on the importance of bison through engaging in dynamic interpretive displays. Well, let's head in. It's only 46 degrees today, unusually cold for um, the end of May. There's a breeze and we ran into some scattered snow flurries on the way in, even though it was in the low 40s. Thank you. Very glad to have you. I know, we saw it on the news. Oh, been working. What time do you open in the morning? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, all right. Eight right now. All right. A beautiful building. The Bison Center is pretty cool. Um, not big, but informative. Uh, probably spend about 20 minutes or half an hour there if all you're doing is stopping to see the displays. Uh, Custer State Park is definitely a must see if you're in the Black Hills area of South Dakota. It's not only the Wildlife Loop and the Visitor Center and the Bison Center, 
but Custer State Park also includes Needles Highway, which takes you up through the Black Hills, um, over by Cathedral Spires and through some of the tunnels. And, but yeah, Custer State Park, definitely a, um, a must see. Uh, it, it's probably one of the best state parks we've been to in the country. It could easily be a national monument.